Taekwondo. Women's under 62 kilogram Kurui. So immediately a height and reach advantage for the Indonesian is evident. Saleha Fitriana Yusuf up against Nurintan Zuleha of Malaysia. The 18-year-old already a fight earlier today, defeating a, a Lao opponent by the greatest of margins. Another one of these competitors yet to score. First warning, though. And a point to the Malaysian fighter. Better from Saleha Fitriana. Another blow, this time though from the Malaysian. It's a good counter attacking here as the Indonesian trying to use her reach advantage to make it count. Oh, good block, cutting out her opponent's move and then goes back in. The Malaysian trying to get the score. To tick on over. There have been some success for Malaysian competitors in this Taekwondo in the Pumse. Two golds, two silvers. Only four in this battle. Patience here. Fighters who do not get involved in action for over 10 seconds can be penalized. So enjoy the continuous action, but it's often about consistency. Being careful as well, it's about timing. And certainly for the Malaysian competitor, it is a uh, significant disadvantage as well. It has that longer reach advantage and is trying to make full use of it. Great counter attack from that time from the Malaysian fighter though. The opponent brought the kick to her with lock block of the kick just sussing out her opponent the Indonesian hit back with a score to the trunk Second of three rounds gets underway. 4-4 four, four after the opening round. Oh, the Indonesian fighter going in blue scores with a great blow to the trunk. First on the scoreboard in the second round. Good psychological advantage, just getting an upper hand, registering the first point of any round. Malaysian patiently waiting for her opponent to come to her. Clearly a counter-attacking competitor. There's so much emphasis on the strategy that is required to win. Some opponents, some competitors enjoy great speed and strength. That looked like a good high leg, but only just missing the head of the Indonesian competitor, Fitriana. Two points have been found in this second round so far, and those by Fitriana. A blow to the trunk of her opponent. Not quite continuous action here, a lot of blocking going on. But another score from the Indonesian. Immediately points out to the 
uh, referee that the sock has come loose. Not a moment to correct it. So, two blows she has inflicted on her opponent in this second round so far. With just under 30 seconds to go. Malaysian is yet to register a point in this round. Tries to do so here. Gets the kick in under the trunk of her taller opponent. And again, the Indonesian. And the kick aimed in towards the side of the trunk scores. Another two pointer. made contact and five points to 12 is how it'll end the Malaysian only registering a late single point in that round certainly went the way of the Indonesian used a reach and height advantage to good effect in that second round and opens up a seven point lead with only two minutes of the fight remaining the third and final round to come Scoring punch is all that the Malaysian managed to secure in that round. Two minutes remaining. Malaysian fighter Nurin Tan Zuleha goes in the red up against Salia Fitrana. These two were level after the opening round. That's a big scoring blow by the Indonesian. Turns the two points and indeed has them registered. Malaysian can't attack it here. being told to engage. Competitors have been a little slow. It's a, a strike to the midriff. Landing the kick to the trunk. It needs to be landed with enough force to be able to register as a legitimate attack. Standing around on this uh, mat inside the octagon here. And again, the Indonesian is claiming uh, a score in the end though she's been excessive in her appeals of the points and she has been punished here a penalty point awarded to her opponent 14 plays six with a minute remaining in this third and final round Consultation with the panel of Taekwondo judges. Seemingly for the headgear. There's a problem with the uh, headgear from the Malaysian. Malaysian camp not entirely satisfied. And she put in a decent performance in her victory over the chat of Lao in the preliminary round. Oh, 26 points in the fight. Currently only has six against a more illustrious Indonesian opponent. Not quite so aggressive in this fight, though. Not taking it to her opponent as she has done in previous fights. Time running out. A shade over 20 seconds to go. Another penalty point. 
Persian still trailing by seven. That looked like a fine blow to the trunk. Well registered, perhaps blocked successfully by the Malaysian. Oh, kick to the head. The Malaysian registers a uh, point here. Two pointer to the body, the Indonesian. Eventually, time running out for the Malaysian who is showing some fight and spirits. A bit of character in the fight back. But Tijana goes over and congratulates not only her opponent but her opponent's camp. She is victorious for Indonesia and advances. Good blocking, good counter-attacking. She was claiming that kick. It was the one that uh, clipped the headgear of her opponents. It looked like she made clean contact. 